In this video, I will discuss attachments of the hip bone. That is muscles that originate from the hip bone and muscles that are inserted on the hip bone. The red color represent muscle origin while the blue color represent muscle insertion. First we will discuss muscles attachment to the ilium part. From the iliac fossa originate iliacus muscle. The sartorius muscle originate from the interior superior iliac spine. Superiorly from the interior superior iliac spine to the posterior superior iliac spine is present iliac crest and it has two lips that is the inner lip and the outer lip. Now if we divide the iliac crest into two parts that is interior two third and the posterior one third. Then from the interior two third of the iliac crest originate transversus abdominis muscle and internal abdominal oblique muscle. And from the posterior one third of the iliac crest originate iliocostalis lumborium muscle and latissimus dorsi muscle. Also from the iliac crest originate quadratus lumborium muscle. Tensor fascia lata muscle originate from the outer lip of the iliac crest between the iliac tubercle and the interior superior iliac spine. From the posterior end of the iliac crest originate longissimus thoracic muscle. Close to it from the posterior superior iliac spine originate multifidus muscle. On the lateral side of the ilium is present these three gluteal lines. Posterior to the posterior gluteal line originate gluteus maximus muscle. Between the posterior and interior gluteal line originate gluteus medius muscle. And between the inferior and interior gluteal line originate gluteus minimus muscle. Below the inferior gluteal line and above the acetabulum is present rough area from which originate reflected head of rectus femoris muscle. Slightly interior to it is the anterior inferior iliac spine from which originate straight head of rectus femoris muscle. These are those muscles that originate from the ilium part of the hip bone. Next is the muscle insertion. Only two muscles are inserted on the ilium part. On the interior half of the iliac crest is inserted external abdominal oblique muscle. While on the iliopectinal eminence is inserted sos minor muscle. Next is the pubis part attachments. From the pectinal line originate pectineous muscle. The name of this muscle also suggests its origin. Pectineous muscle originate from the pectinal line. Now to better understand the muscles origin and insertion on the pubic part First, we will discuss the basic landmarks. The pubic bone has a body and close to the body is ramus called pubic ramus. This pubic ramus is continuous with ramus of the ischium. Together, these two rami are called ischiopubic rami. 
द बॉडी हैज एन इंटीरियर सर्फेस एंड द पोस्टीरियर सर्फेस एंड इन बिटवीन दीज टू सर्फेसिस सुपीरियरली इज प्रेजेंट प्यूबिक क्रिस्ट सिमिलरली इस जो प्यूबिक रेमाई हैज एन एक्सटर्नल सर्फेस एंड एन इंटरनल सर्फेस Also note that on the body of pubis is present a tubercle called pubic tubercle Now keeping these landmarks in the mind will help us better understand the muscles origin and insertion on the pubis part The interior surface of the pubis body and the external surface of the ischio pubic rami is where most of the medial compartment of the thigh muscles originate gracilis muscle originate from the external surface of the pubis body and ischio pubic ramus adductor longus muscle originate from the external surface of the pubis body adductor brevis muscle originate from external surface of the pubis body and inferior pubic ramus adductor magnus muscle has two parts and the adductor part originate from the ischio pubic ramus from the pubic crest originate rectus abdominis muscle and pyramidalis muscle posterior surface of the body of pubis provide origin to pubo coccygeus muscle and pubo anus muscle these are those muscles that originate from the pubis part the muscles that are inserted on the pubis part include external abdominal oblique muscle which is inserted on the pubic tubercle and transverse abdominis muscle which is inserted on the pubic crest and pectoral line indirectly Why in guinal falcs? This is all about the attachment of the pubis part. Next is the ischium part. Important feature on the ischium part is the ischial tuberosity, which give origin to hamstring muscles. That is, hamstring part of the adductor magnus muscle, semi tendinosus muscle. long head of bicep femoris muscle and semi membranosus muscle these three are the posterior compartment of the thigh muscles slightly lateral to the ischial tuberosity originate quadratus femoris muscle and from the upper aspect of the ischial tuberosity originate inferior gemellus muscle slightly more above is present ischial spine from the external surface of the ischial spine originate superior gemellus muscle from the apex originate coccygeus muscle and another muscle that originate from the ischial spine is the iliococcygeus muscle in this view below is the ischial tuberosity and here is the internal surface of the ischial ramus from the ischial tuberosity and ramus of the ischium originate two muscles that is superficial transverse perineal muscle and ischio cavernosus muscle two more muscles originate from the internal surface of the ischial ramus these are deep transverse perineal muscle and external urethral sphincter muscle of male the last two muscles that originate from hip bone are obturator internus muscle which originate from internal surface of the margin of obturator foramen and obturator externus muscle which originate from external surface of the margin of 
of curator foramen. This is all about those muscles that are attached to hip bone. For more videos on lower limb, please check out playlist shown on the screen. Thank you.